12 év agymosás után azonban én azt mondom önöknek, most vasárnap valódi esély van arra, hogy Orbán Viktort eltakarítsuk, hogy ezeket a hazaárulókat leváltsuk Magyarország élén. Does democracy exist in Hungary right now? No, we wouldn't call it a democracy at all. You may not call it a dictatorship, but it's definitely at least an authoritarian regime. A regime where Orbán built up an elaborate system in which he can never be defeated, he can never be replaced, he will always rule. You must be familiar with the fact that there are many U.S. conservatives coming here to learn from Orbán's style of governance. Why do you think that is? Well, I don't know why that is, but I know that it's dangerous. You should take care of your democracy, because fortunately enough, you have your checks and balances. If somebody is able to switch them off, you would also slide down. This is what happened to Hungary, and I really hope that your system, the 200-year-old American democracy, which I admire, is strong enough to withstand any such threats. Not only are U.S. conservatives not heeding Marcus Lai's warnings, they're embracing the most controversial aspects of Orban's rule. Harvard scholar Gladden Papin is a senior fellow at a government-backed Hungarian university. What do you want to take from this country and bring back to the U.S.? American conservatives have some um, anxiety about using power um, when they have it, which ultimately I think is their undoing. Orban is a no bullshit politician who has both the vision to, you know, establish and defend Hungary as a you know, traditional uh, Christian society. He's a controversial figure in Europe. That's right. undeniable. Yes, he's and he's controversial for certain reason. Yes, he's controversial because he rejects the liberalism part of liberal democracy as an anti-liberal. I think that that's good. Does being anti-liberal mean doing things like changing the Constitution in your favor? Yes, obviously. We should pass into the U.S. Constitution anything that, that, that is you know, fundamentally required in order to protect the things that have been taken away by other forms of legislation or by the Supreme Court. And I don't think we're at risk of having a highly intolerant you know, right-wing or conservative society. We're at risk of, because we already have, a highly intolerant liberal society.